A private record found on pedophile Anthony Weiner's PC uncovers that the U.S. government dreaded WikiLeaks could impact the 2010 race in Sweden. The U.S. international safe haven in Stockholm communicated worries that WikiLeaks would discharge ordered reports identifying with Sweden in front of the September 29th Swedish race, tipping the vote towards the Pirate Party. Soon after these worries were communicated, the Swedish government provided a capture warrant for Julian Assange. Zerohinge.com reports, the subject of the link peruse is WikiLeaks, the Pirate Party's white horse into Sweden's parliament? On June 29, 2010 the U.S. ambassador met with three individuals from the Pirate Party, which is portrayed in the link as a blend among socialism and libertarianism, yet whose individuals are all around salaried experts, free from the gathering for money. Two of the privateers, as indicated by the report, were dynamic in the adolescent branch of the Preservationist Party as of now driving government. The embassy link noticed the bleak a point of standpoint for pirates, as affirmed by a pirate party part met by the U.S. negotiator, unless WikiLeaks saves the day. Two weeks after the link was sent, a capture warrant was issued for WikiLeaks organizer Julian Assange on rape claims, which was dropped, at that point reissued, at that point disavowed again by Swedish experts in August 2015 when they dropped their body of evidence against him. Link found on Anthony Weiner's laptop, acquired by means of Judicial Watch FOIA claim. The development of this classified record, found on Anthony Weiner's workstation and sent while his significant other, Huma Abden, was Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's Deputy Chief of Staff, is aggravating, as it possibly involves the Obama Organization in a trick to hush Julian Assange while Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State. Also that it could be the conclusive evidence and yet another reasonable instance of misused data found on detained sexual freak Anthony Weiner's PC the FBI's Peter Strzok and team must have some way or another disregarded. A short course of events of occasions. On August 20, 2010, the Swedish prosecutor's office issued a capture warrant for Julian Assange over an assault charge. Two weeks after the U.S. Embassy met with the Pirate Party and had worries over Assange spilling U.S. privileged insights. The net day, Swedish scratched off the warrant. I don't think there is motivation to presume that he has conferred assault, says one of Stockholm's central prosecutors, Eva Finn. Swedish prosecutors did however keep on investigating a different affirmation of attack, however they felt it was not a sufficiently genuine wrongdoing for a capture warrant. On September 1, 2010, Swedish Director of Prosecution, Marianne N.Y., revived the assault examination against Assange. On November 18, 2010, Stockholm District Court endorsed a confinement task for Mr. Assange, who had made a trip to London. After two days, Swedish police issued a worldwide capture warrant. On December 8, 2010, Assange is taken into British authority and taken to a removal hearing. After eight days, Assange posts safeguard and strolls free in London until May 30, 2012 when the UK Supreme Court decides that he ought to be removed to Sweden. August 16, 2012, Assange starts his refuge at the Ecuadorian International Safe Haven in London, where he has stayed for more than five years. In February, 2016, an UN board observed Assange to be confined unlawfully in the Ecuadorian International Safe Haven. In May, 2017, Swedish experts indeed dropped their body of evidence against Julian Assange, with his Swedish legal adviser Per Samuelsson revealed to Swedish media it is an aggregate triumph for Julian Assange, including he is allowed to leave the government office at whatever point he needs. Sadly, that is not going to be so natural for now, as Assange faces prompt capture by the UK for skipping safeguard at his removal hearing. In addition, in April of this current year, CNN and The Washington Post all the while announced that Attorney General Jeff Sessions' DOJ has arranged criminal accusations against Assange more than 2010 breaks of strategic links and military records. While the DOJ appears to be determined to lock in Assange up, the WikiLeaks organizer has likewise gotten gigantic help from specific individuals from Congress. As we detailed a week ago, Congressman Dana Rarabacher flew out to London in August with writer Charles Johnson for a gathering with Assange, 
where Raw Rab Acher said the WikiLeaks organizer offered first-hand data demonstrating that the Trump crusade did not intrigue with Russia, and which would discredit the Russian hacking hypothesis. Raw Rab Acher took that message back to Trump's chief of staff, John Kelly, to propose an arrangement. In return for a presidential absolve, Assange would share confirm that would discredit the Russian hacking hypothesis by demonstrating they weren't the wellspring of the messages, as indicated by the Wall Street Journal. However, when Trump was gotten some information about the Assange proposition, he reacted that he'd never heard of it, making Raw Rab H a release on John Kelly, who he rebuked for hindering the proposition from achieving the president. Raw Rab H -er told the Daily Caller. I think the president's answer shows that there is a divider around him that is being made by individuals who would prefer not to uncover this extortion that there was agreement between our knowledge group and the pioneers of the Democratic Party, Raw Rab Acher disclosed to the Daily Caller Tuesday in a telephone meet. This would need to be an agreeable exertion between his own staff and the administration and the insight groups to endeavor to keep the president from settling on the choice regarding regardless of whether he needs to make the strides important to uncover this ghastly lie was pushed down the American individual's throat so fantastically recently, Raw Rab Acher said. Adding to the idea of profound state obstruction, CIA executive Mark Pompeo alluded to WikiLeaks as an unfriendly inside benefit in April calling Julian Assange a fake, a quitter holing up behind a screen for uncovering data about law-based governments as opposed to tyrant administrations. This an incredible unexpected proclamation, considering Pompeo utilized spilled messages from WikiLeaks as proof the fix was in against President Trump. So, while the Swedish experts have dropped their body of evidence against Assange, and the UN says he's been unlawfully point by point, the UK demands capturing Assange the minute he ventures outside the Ecuadorian government office for hopping abandoned the dropped charges, and the US Department of Justice is purportedly arranged to slap criminal allegations on Assange. Maybe the foundation is still somewhat miffed that the White Wizard demonstrated the world what's truly underneath the pantsuit, which in spite of the steady talk of the previous year is the thing that eventually cost Hillary, thus huge numbers of her beneficent companions, the race.